projects yes of course we do need projects because you know we are working with lots of data it is always a good practice to always organize your data into a project so today i'm going to introduce to you projects in quantum gis let us stay there watch out yeah so guys i have opened my quantum gis as you can see and the new window has been opened so it is always a good practice to make a project because later in the future you may want to share your work or you may want to retrieve it but if it is saved in a project you can always go back and reference to that work so uh, the first thing you do after opening your quantum gis you come here to project and then say new and then a new project has come and then you come here and check the coordinate system of your project of course depending on which country you are in or what data you have you can always change the connect system here so i can select wgs84 since i'm going to use wgs84 i say apply and then okay and then after there i come to project save as and then i can give it a name for example this project i'm going to call it demonstration demonstration then say save so whenever i open up your gis with the quantum gis or another type of gis the first thing you should do first is to do what is to save your project so from here i'm going to continue to the next tutorial which is going to be working on shapefiles within quantum gis thank you